Hello and a very warm welcome to Tokyo, a city that has already staged one Olympic Games and is now busy preparing to become only the fourth city to stage the Games twice because in just six years time, Tokyo will once again be the focus of sports fans from around the globe. But all this week, the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium has been the focus of all global badminton fans because the world's top badminton players have been battling it out for the right to lift the trophies at the 33rd Yonix Open Japan. Event number six on the 12 tournament MetLife BWF World Super Series. The Super Series, the elite tier of tournaments throughout the year and as you can see all 12 tournaments there and the end of year super series finals destination is dubai this year and for the next three years after this as well the end of season championships of course for the top eight players and pairs from each of the five disciplines welcome also to australia for the first time joining the super series so the badminton global interest is growing wonderful to see a new continent involved. Well, it is finals day today at the Yonix Open Japan, and we're starting with women's singles and the Olympic champion, Li Shui Rei. She takes on the winner from two years ago, Tai Su Ying. Then we've got an all Japanese women's double, so for a second year running, Japan guaranteed a title at their home event. Then men's singles and the defending champion, world number one, Li Chong Wei, appearing in his seventh final. He's up against Hu Yun, still looking for his first ever international title. Then we'll have a men's doubles and Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setia one taking on Li Yongdae and Yu Young Sung. Our last final of the afternoon will be mixed doubles. The Olympic champions Zhang Gang and Zhao Yunlei will be up against the only European interest, Fuchs and Mikels, trying to create history to get today by becoming the first German players to lift a title here in Japan. But here comes our first players for the first final of the day. Women's singles led out by the Olympic champion and then the teenager Tai Suying won the Japan Open two years ago. Tai Suying playing her last event as a teenager and because next Friday she will turn 20. The Olympic champion, Li Shuere, introduced to the fans here in Tokyo. Making her first appearance at the Onyx Open Japan. And this lady has won the hearts of the fans here in Tokyo. She won the title two years ago, and the way she's battled through to today's final has been quite remarkable. The service judge is Mohamed Zin Hashim, Malaysia. So our court officials also introduced to the fans wonderful crowds we've had all week, over 5,000 people in today. And I can tell you they've been entertained for at least the last hour and a half, possibly two hours, with youngsters getting to play against some of Japan's star players, players who reached the final of the recent Yuba Cup, the Women's Team Championships, and of course the men's team who won the Thomas Cup. Great excitement for Japanese badminton last month in Delhi. So the toss of the coin, and interesting that the former champion, the number six seed, Tai Su Ying, has chosen to start the far side of the court. If you win the toss, you have a, a choice of either choosing where you want to start, or you can choose to serve, or you can choose to receive. Well, the Shuere today 
playing in her fifth tournament of the year, individual tournament that is, and this is her fifth final of the year. It's quite obvious why she is the number one seed and world number one. Of her previous four tournaments, she's been beaten finalists three times, one just once. Just once sounds odd, doesn't it, when she's been in four previous finals prior to this fifth final. She really is a star player. Winner of the Malaysia, and with her matches so far, well, in the very first round, she had to meet the qualifier last year's winner here, Akane Yamaguchi. Still a junior player, Yamaguchi, twice world junior champion. If you were with us over the last couple of days, you would have seen that quarter-final against the European champion, Carolina Marin, and the semi-final yesterday against Sun Jie Hyun, both the quarter-final and semi-final in straight games. However, against Sun Jie Hyun, Li Shui Rei needed eight match points before she closed out that semi-final. So to the 19-year-old, uh, wouldn't it be a nice birthday present? five days early if she could win this title because of course next friday 20 years of age the number six seed here number seven in the world ranking number nine on the super series list at the moment and her win loss record for the year prior to this tournament well she'd played seven individual tournaments the best she'd done was three quarter finals so this is a big step forward now looking at her previous matches no seeded opposition in the semi-final she had to play against Liu Sin but in the quarter-final it was desperately disappointing for the home fans because Sayaka Takahashi who had beaten the three-time former winner Wang Yi Han in the last 16 had to retire injured part way through that second game so to our match officials and Linman from the United States of America and Hashima Mahadid Zin from Malaysia, our service judge. Now, I'll quickly to remind you, of course, that also we have the challenge system in place, so the players have two challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, online calls on my right, so wish. Li Zeroy, China. And on my left, Tai Ji Ying, Chinese Taipei. to serve love all play so the olympic champion and world number one gets our first final on the way here at the yonix open japan one Ying, when she won the title two years ago here in tokyo beat home player iriko hiroshi in three games and winning that Japan Open title two years ago, she at that Service stage over. became the youngest One. ever winner oh. of a Super Series title at 18 years, three months and three days. But of course that record was broken last year by the 16-year-old qualifier Akane Yamaguchi. Now, this is actually the eighth meeting between these two players. The previous seven, all seven, have been won by Li Shui If you're a, a fan of the Taipei player, that statistic will be a little worrying. Well, you won't be worried by the way she's started this match. Excellent start. Or the youngster. Oh, I say youngster, her opponent's only 23. And we were noticing yesterday, and indeed on Friday in the quarterfinals, that Li Shui Rei, heavy, heavy bandaging on that left knee. say I couldn't really see in her previous Four, matches one. any hampering of the movement because of the strapping or the injury problems
short. Trying to play tights Two, when spinning four. net shots is going to be very important for both players. So I can understand why Tai Su Ying is trying to make it a perfect shot. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, quite obvious the support of the fans. Tai Su Ying Five, endearing two. herself to the fans the way she battled back in her semi final against Liu Xin of China, dropped the opening game. Very, very tight second game. And ran away with the third. Now she's going to have to be careful about the drift, Tai Su Ying. Because not only is there a lengthways drift and the Three, shuttle flying a five. little quicker coming towards Li Shuere, so as we look down on the court, coming towards us, shuttle flying a little bit quicker, and the shuttle also moving from left to right as we look at the court. Four, five. Over. Well, 12 months ago, Five, well, actually, six. it wasn't 12 months ago, Japan Open last year was September, wasn't it? It's changed dates a little bit earlier this year, but the Japan Open last year, Li Shuere was the number one seed, but she withdrew before the start of play. So this really her first appearance here. So naturally gifted. She's a Six, wonderful character. Four. Expresses herself so delightfully on court. Tai Su Ying. And I think that's why she does endear herself to the fans. You know when she's happy. You know when she's annoyed with herself. Well, that net shot must have missed. I thought that was a winner. Goodness me. Seven, six. Well, on a run of three straight points. Leash where Ray goes into the lead. Service over. Seven, all. very obvious from that last rally that Eight, both players seven. using the standard singles tactics push your opponent to the back bring them forward push them back again yeah same again that's landed on the line Eight all. Mm, in fact, inside the back line. <laughs> Clever smash. Oh, oh my goodness me. Oh, that's great judgment. Away. 
that Tai Su Ying Nine. can really Eight. hold her shots at the front of the court till the last moment before flicking it or pushing it deep really does mean that opponents can't anticipate. Here we go, there's another one. Delightful. Oh! Goodness me. Yeah. Well, how many women singles players would even attempt a cross-court block from there? Very, very few. And that's why she is so exciting to watch. <laughs> and so expressive. Lovely. Oh. Yeah, touch the shuttle. Ten, nine. advantage at the mid-game interval of this opening game. Ah, look at that. Just drop the wrist at the last moment to play the block on the return of serve. You just do not know what's coming with Tai Su Ying. Coaches, last one to leave, Chen Jin, Olympic bronze medalist and former world champion bronze medalist at the Beijing Olympics. Eleven nine, play. Great block. Oh, my goodness. The creativity of Tai Su Ying Ten, is 11. remarkable. Her opponents are always under pressure, always hesitant with their movement. As I was saying just a moment ago, they cannot anticipate. You dare not anticipate. Oh, good judgment again. Well, I wonder if the drift's a little different. Eleven all. There's a couple that have gone long that far end. I don't know what's 12, been the problem 11. with Tai Su Ying so far this year with her form. Finished last year very well indeed. Reached the final of the Super Series finals in Kuala Lumpur. And then not past the quarter final so far this year prior to coming to Tokyo. Twelve all. Yeah, it's a very welcome return to form. I do enjoy watching her play. Oh, that's nice. I so often think that the skill level and deception of the top Chinese 13, players is 12. almost overlooked a little because they're such fine athletes. They're so fit and fast around the court. But uh, I have to say their skill level is superb as well. Yep. 
Oh. Great smash. Good use of the body smash. Look, it was the net shot that did the damage. But her peripheral vision to be able to see that her opponent was weighted a little committed to her forehand defense. Just smashing across the body. Very, very clever. Oh, good shot. Yeah, there's the drift. Without the drift, that would have stayed in. 14, 13. Well, if there is a concern about that left knee of Leash Wairei, it's certainly going to be tested in this afternoon's final. Now, what on earth happened there? <laughs> well, at least she can laugh about it. <laughs> She's such a character. Oh, it's over. Fifteen, fourteen. I can't serve. Oh. Goodness. Look at that net exchange. Service over. Well, I thought the net play. 15 all. Would be crucial in this. You can never accuse her of lack of effort. 17, 15. I can see what she was trying to do tactically with the cross court clear. Thank you. Just not high enough to get it over the head of Lee Schwer, right? It's a run of four straight points coming from 18, behind. 15. To now have a three point advantage. Well, this is very. Very clever from Li Shuarui. 19. Because 15. she is well aware that Tai Su Ying is just a sorcerer at the front of the court. You never know what's coming. And she's hardly allowing her to play there. Now, tactically, the Olympic champion, very, very astute.
all four corners of the court were explored in that 16, rally. 19. And the final movement there from Tai Su Ying. Look, she knew, got her opponent out of position. Li Shui having to take it late in her deep forehand corner and therefore the quick angled shot across court. Exactly the right shot to play at exactly the right time. Good lift. Twenty game point. Just reading 16. the situation, forcing her opponent to do what she wants her to do. And now four game point opportunities. <laughs> Only needed the one. Opening game. A little over 18 minutes of play. First game won by Liz Leroy, 21-16. Umpire confirms the score, 21-16. And the Olympic champion won against the good in this final. This is the final rally of the opening game, the good pressure play. Smash out wide. There yeah, was a little look from Tai Su in there towards the back of the court. It was nowhere near going out that serve. I wonder what the hesitation was for. It's impressive from the world number one. Well, the Chinese coaches will be well aware of this young lady's capabilities. Because, of course, Tai Su Ying beats a Chinese player in the semi final. Liu Sin, to be precise. Second game, level play. Unbelievable. One love. That is what you call perfection on the cross court net shot. Looks so casual about it as well. Beautiful. Mm, Got to be careful with the drift there. Two love. Challenge, challenge here from Tai Su Ying. Tai Chi Ying is challenging a line call on the left court or a sideline. Well, it was called out. Tai Su Ying thinks her net shot was in. We're asking Hawkeye to adjudicate. Oh, she was awfully close to it, obviously. If you play a net shot. Oh my goodness me! Unsuccessful. Three wide love. by a whisker. Mm, just proves the line judge has done a great job. That's 
it's definitely wide. Or luck. <laughs> Body language looks as if she hasn't a care in the world, I can assure you she does. as she was taking it late in a deep backhand corner, Tai Su Ying. Five luck. That's the clever one from the Olympic champion. And that's the one time she's really been able to anticipate. Champion Tai Su Ying needs to be awfully careful here, otherwise, this world number one is just going to run away with it. Very, very important. And tai Su Ying stays close enough as far as the score is concerned to mount a comeback. Service over. Just wide. Great, great deception from Tai Su Ying. Look at Two, that. Six. Su Ying's fifth Super Series tournament final. Won two titles, not only here in Japan, but won the Malaysian Open Eight, last year two. as well. Belushwe Ray, this is her 17th Super Series tournament final. Having won nine of the previous 16. Missed it. The way things are looking at the moment. Looking on her way to taking her 10th Super Series title. Missed it. Over. Six, two. Yeah, she too has been quite expressive, which is very nice. Oh, I challenge that. Oh, well, you see now she's lost a challenge. Oh, that was way in, surely. Well, too nervous to use a second challenge because she's already used one of her two. She's only got one challenge remaining. She was proved wrong with her first challenge. So an eight-point advantage at the mid-game interval for the Olympic champion. But interestingly, yesterday evening I was having a very good chat to the chairman of the BWF Events Committee, Peter Carla, and we were talking about the number of challenges. 
and I think and hope that it's only a matter of time before we increase the number of challenges that a player is allowed to make. My personal preference would probably be two challenges per game, plus an extra challenge 20 seconds. if it went to 20, 20 or so. Seconds. Very similar to tennis. In tennis, they have three challenges per set and an extra challenge if it goes to a tiebreaker. Because the thing that we've just seen, I'm convinced that cross-court shot from this lady was in. Like she was too afraid to use her final challenge, I suspect. Oh, my word. Well, that just proves the point that I was making earlier. Chinese players. 12 3. So skillful. And they're also very, very deceptive, like her opponent. No wonder she nods at her coach. <laughs> Ten point advantage now. Well, it was a tough old battle for Tai Su Ying in her semi-final yesterday, an hour and seven minutes. Maybe that's taken its physical toll. Maybe the seven and zero head-to-head -head rec record also has something to do with it. problem is that Ishwarai is just playing too well today. 14-3. Yeah. Three. Marching towards her goal. Nishwere. That run of points to an end. Four, sixteen. Was seven straight points, and it is a fairly dire situation for the former champion. Just delightful, Service controlled, over. smooth movement from Li Shui Rui. 17-4. Glides around the court. Well, the problem for all 
opponents of the Olympic champions. 18, Where are the weaknesses? Five. So good in all departments. right. Net play, overhead disguises. Desperation attempt to the backhand win up. 19-5. So match points, 20. championship match points point have five. arrived. Delaying the inevitable, I suspect. Six twenty. Good. Second time of asking, and a clinical performance in that second game by the Olympic champion Li Shuirei. Victory over the 2012 winner here in Japan. 21-16. 21-6 in 33 minutes. Well, five individual tournaments this year, five finals, second title. What a year Li Shuerue is having. 2012, of course, she reached nine finals, winning eight of them. Last year, just six, winning three. Goodness me, the consistency over the years. Quite staggering. So in her first ever appearance here at the Japan Open, Li Shuerue walks away with the title. Well, she looked very comfortable. So that win for Li Shuerei means that she will leapfrog her two compatriots there and become number one on the Destination Dubai rankings. Of course, Wang Yihan, after winning in Singapore, overtook Wang Shuxian. So she's only stayed at number one. The three-time former champion here, incidentally, Wang Yihan, but Li Shuerei will definitely go on top of the destination Dubai rankings. Sung Ji Hyung, well, she made the semi final, so she's going to go above her teammate. She will move up to number four on the rankings. And as far as the beaten finalist is concerned, well, she was number nine after the uh, Singapore. She moved up two places after Singapore, and here after Japan. She's going to move up, having reached the final, to number six. So she's going to move up three places in that destination 
Dubai ranking, of course, the world champion, Rachanuk Intanon, while well, she lost in the first round here. So she's having a torrid time at the moment. But I guess what's significant is that there are four Chinese players in the top ten, two Koreans and two Thai players. Now, of course, for the Super Series finals in Dubai, you're only allowed two players per nation in any one discipline. So there will only be a maximum of two Chinese players. So it really is becoming a very, very tight battle as to who will qualify for the Destination Dubai end of season championships. So the fans await the prize presentation for our first final of the afternoon, the women's singles. It will be a 17th time that Li Xuere stands on top of a podium. Tenth time at a Super Series event. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the prize presentation ceremony of Yonex Open Japan 2014, a part of the Midnight BW Sports Super Series. So the players are asked to step forward and lovely to see that one of the beaten semi-finalists, Sung Ji Hyung, the third place winner in women's singles is here is Sun Jihun, Korea. for the presentation. Jin 1985, her mother won a title here at the Japan Open. That was women's doubles. Well, two years ago, Tai Suying was on top of the podium. This time, she's got to settle for second place. And for Li Xuere, the world number one, a second title of the year, a second Super Series title of 2014 in her first ever appearance here at the Yonex Open. Japan. The Mr. Ben Yoniyama, president of Yonex Company, makes the presentation of the bronze medal to Sung Ji Hyung. I think the women's singles in very good shape indeed. From quarterfinals onwards, we had seven different nations represented. Two Chinese players, a Spanish player, Korean, Thai player, Hong Kong, Japanese player, and of course, the player about to get her medal from Peter Takala. Tai Su Ying from Taipei. Five hundred US dollars are presented to Tai Tsui by Mr. Peter Tarasara, the chair of BWF Event Committee. She also receives the MetLife Ambassador Snoopy. Next, the Yushou Li Shuri選手に優勝プレート並びに金メダル。そして優勝賞金一万八千七百五十一万八千七百五十ドルが贈られます。そして副賞としてメットライフアリコ生命のアンバサダースヌーピーが贈られます贈呈は公益財団法人日本バドミントン協会中山のりこが行います Ladies and gentlemen The winners play and the presentation of the champions trophy by Ms. のりこまかやま on behalf of the Nippon Badminton Association She also wins the prize money of 18,000 the champion at the Yonex Open Japan 2014, Ali Shuere of China.
Well, what a wonderful clinical performance by the Olympic champion Li Xuerei to beat the former champion Tai Su Ying in our first final this afternoon. Next up is women's doubles. It's an all Japanese affair, as you can see. And it means for a second year running, Japan is guaranteed a title at the home event. Of course, last year, it was women's singles that was all Japanese because the qualifier Yamaguchi uh, beat Uchida in the women's singles final last year. This year, Japan are going to win the women's doubles. After that, we are going to have men's singles and the defending champion and four-time winner, Ali Chongwei, today appearing in his seventh Japan Open final. He's up against Hu Yun, the number eight seed, who is...